in partnership by Mad Maps. Alright guys, what's up? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Um, so today I'm going to be unboxing the, where you at? Blue Yeti, Blue Yeti, I don't know how exactly how you say it, a portable power station. I'm not gonna lie, I got a little excited and I already unboxed it, but you know what? You guys get to see another unboxing. Super simple packaging, nothing extravagant at all. First, you got this little box right here, and this box holds your AC power adapter, your solar panel charger, your DC power adapter, a USB-C to C, and a little strap for your cords to like a Velcro zip tie. Next, we got, I'm assuming the instruction or owner, owner's manual. You, um, you had, you. Key power station that it, that's, that's pretty cool. I would not have thought of that. Um, I haven't actually seen anybody talk about this. So keep your power station out of direct sunlight. I do not know why that is, but apparently so. Uh, just a user manual and uh, your warranty. You know. I'm not gonna lie, my wife almost fell. I'm not, I wasn't gonna say anything, but she must definitely almost fell and was playing it because I was getting too close to the camera. <laughs> So, and then I guess this is your pass certificate for your power station. And, boom, your power station. So this is the Blue Yeti uh, AC50S. Uh, so first of all, why did I get a power station? I got a power station for our heat blanket. Um, I'm currently looking at some coffee options. Whenever we're out there, maybe a small coffee maker. For Juju, we have, we have this. So this is his little bottle heater, uh, and you just plug it in, fill it up with water, turn it on, and it heats the bottle. And it actually heats the bottles extremely hot. And uh, the issue that we ran into while we were out there this last time is, Whenever the water is cold, the formula does not mix well, or pretty much at all. So yeah, I want to be able to bring this out. I also do plan on getting a diesel heater, and with the diesel heater, you do need power, so I want to be able to run the diesel heater off of this. All right, so now that I explained why I got a power station, why did I get a Blue Yeti? First of all, not gonna lie, 100% honest, cost. This was about a hundred, maybe two hundred. I can't exactly remember right now. Uh, dollars less than the Jackery, and then the Goal Zero was never an option. Just way too expensive. Uh, but the Jackery, a big reason is the Jackery has the handle right here, and it's fixed, and it doesn't go anywhere. So it kind of takes away from the form factor. Um, of being able to pack it. This is a nice square cube and you can put it anywhere. Uh, so that's what I really, really liked. Honestly, I was looking at a Jackery at first because honestly, it's just like, that's that's the one, you know, that's the power station that everybody goes for. And uh, that's just all I knew and they sell it at Freight, REI and all that stuff. But then I started looking around and I came across this and I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. Another cool thing about this is that since it has a flat top, they decided to utilize the flat top to be a wireless charger. So you can turn on the DC power on this uh, charging station and put your phone on there and wirelessly charge your phone. This does have a lower, um, like I think a watt rating. I could be wrong. I will throw it up on the screen now uh, of what it is, the comparison, then the Jackery, but the watt hour rating uh, between this and the Jackery is in fact the same. Your input is back here. And I did remember that there was one thing that I didn't like, and that's what it is. 
So with the input being back here, let's say this is this, the side wall of your truck or whatever where you got stored away. This means that you can't charge it right up against uh, the wall while using it. You have to pull it away to be able to charge it or possibly turn it sideways because the charger is in the back. And another cool thing about the Yeti is that they actually sell um, expansion packs. So you don't necessarily need to buy a whole another um, portable battery. You can just buy an expansion pack and build upon this if you really wanted to. Their ecosystem just overall looks really, really cool and something that I may be looking forward to because um, we may be looking to move and we're, we're looking to move. There's um, recurring storms and whatnot and they sell whole battery stations to power your uh, appliances in your home. <laughs> Like they have the huge sockets. So that's pretty cool. I haven't actually used this or anything like that. So I can't really give a full review, but that's why I decided to choose this power station over the Jackery. Once we use it some, and let's see if it actually has any charge. It comes with an 80% charge. Woo! That light is bright. And you can turn it down and then you can also do the SOS. So that's, an, that's another really cool thing from Chris and Zachary where Zachary just tries to make the world's largest flashlight and it's not really useful. This, it's like, you know, you can put this in the tent, you can put it on the table outside, it will light up the whole area. That's the unboxing of the Blue Yeti um, power station and why I chose this over to Zachary. And once I actually get to use it, I'll give you guys a review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's not real, I don't really do unboxings a lot, so this may have been terrible. Let me know down in the comments. Uh, please, please, please like, uh, comment, subscribe. Um, I do have, you know, I'm getting some traction, I'm getting some views and whatnot, but the likes is what really helps. Um, you know, that's what drives my videos to the for you pages of other overlanders and um, ZR2 or stuff like that. So, you know, just help a man out and peace. I'll see you guys later. You ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head?